Hello, everybody, and welcome to Quiz Retainment. I'm Derek L. Jenkins. Today, we have two awesome teams, Team Ladies Yay! and Team Gentlemen. The first contestant from our lady team is Michelle. Michelle is from Wichita, South Dakota, who enjoys long walks on the beach, playing chess, and spending time with her 31 cats. Our second contestant is a lady from, from Team Ladies is Jocelyn from Kansas, who enjoys rock climbing, collecting yellow M&Ms, and playing Frisbee golf. <laughs> Over here on our gentleman team, we have Alex from Ferbuka, Texas, who loves to build snowmen, collecting shoe, shoe spoons, and enjoying Nigerian polka music. <laughs> the second contestant is gentleman from Team Gentleman is Dion from Anchorage, Alaska, who enjoys sunbathing, left-handed table tennis, and line dancing. <laughs> is everyone ready to get, round, get ready for round one of Quiz Retainment? Yes. Yeah. All right, today the contestants will be taking, picking from a topic from each uh, topic that we have. We have history, art, entertainment, religion, and fashion. Ladies, you get to go first. What topic would you like to choose? Uh, um, we're going to go with... History. History it is. <laughs> In what year was insulin used for the first di di diabetic person for the first time? A, 1922. B, 1889, C, 1908, or D, 1943? C. C, 1908? That is incorrect. Oh. Gentlemen, you have a chance to steal. Is it A, 1922, B, 1889, C, 1908, or D, 1943? We're going with D. D, 1943, you both were wrong. All right, next topic. Gentlemen, you can choose from fashion, religion, entertainment, art, or in the lab. Whatever entertainment. Entertainment. Who played the male lead role for the horror film Psycho in 1960? Was it A, Tom Hanks, B, D. Martin, C, Anthony Perkins, or D, Tony Curtis? I'm going with C. C, Anthony Perkins? That is correct. <laughs> Ladies, next topic would you like to choose from? In the lab, art, movie, fashion. fashion. Which of these brands is popular women's shoes brand? Frederick Noir, Steve Madden, Sean Tootsies, or Lane Scholler? Steve Madden. That is correct. <laughs> All right, gentlemen, your turn. Would you like to choose from sports, religion, movie, TV, art, or in the lab? Religion. Religion. I like it. Which of the following is the meditative state of Buddhism? Sarada, Ghana, Dhana, or Karma? Is it A, Saratita, B, Ghana, C, Jhana, or D, Karma? B, Ghana? That is absolutely incorrect. Ladies, which of these following is a meditative state in Buddhism? A, Siddharahata, B, Ghana, C, Hana, or D, Karma? D, Karma. D, Karma is absolutely incorrect. <laughs> All right, ladies, your pick. Would you like to do in the lab, art, entertainment, religion, or sports? Entertainment. Entertainment. I like where you guys are headed. What animated movie contains the line, It's so fluffy, I'm going to die. <laughs> Despicable Me, Monsters, Inc., Up, or Toy Story? Despicable Me. You know what? You guys have seen your Disney movies. That is absolutely <laughs> correct. Yeah. Gentlemen, you have sports, religion, entertainment, art, or in the lab? No sports. Sports. It's about time. Which NFL team won the first Super Bowl? A, the Oakland Raiders, <laughs> the Miami Dolphins, the Green Bay Packers, or the Kansas City Chiefs? I'm going with the Green Bay Packers. You know what? You guys know your sports history. Green Bay Packers did win the very first Super Bowl. The round is two to two, so the next team to get the next question right wins the round. Ladies, it's up to you. Would you like religion, entertainment, art, or in the lab? In the lab it is. <laughs> Which is the scientific unit for temperature? Celsius, A, Celsius, B, Smoggle, C, Kelvin, D, Fahrenheit. Which is the scientific unit for temperature? A, Celsius, 
B. Schmoggle. C. Kelvin. D. Fahrenheit. The scient what? Scientific unit of temperature. Can you repeat that? Yes, I can. A. Celsius. B. Schmoggle. C. Kelvin. D. Fahrenheit. Kelvin. You know what? You ladies are absolutely correct, and you win the very first round. It is C. Kelvin. Stay tuned for more Quisitary after this next <laughs> break. to the second round it will be battle of each sex each team will pick three questions from our list for the opponent to answer boys you ready to go first Let's see what the ladies have chose for you yes, sir. all right beer is made oh actually no sorry yeah these are the right ones beer is made from oh no these are the right ones i'm sorry no, no, no. sorry give you guys the girls questions give you the boys questions no wait we want these ones too. thank you what does pms stand for <laughs> prepare my supper <laughs> Pulmonary mucosal <laughs> syndrome, premenstrual syndrome, or postmenstrual syndrome. What does PMS stand for? A. Prepare my supper. B. Pulmonary <laughs> mucosal syndrome. C. Premenstrual syndrome. D. Postmenstrual syndrome. Sounds too sweet. C. Premenstrual syndrome. You guys are absolutely correct. <laughs> All right, ladies. Alaska. It's Alaska. I like representing the Anchorage and the Great White North. That's Canada. Ladies, what is the animal that Indiana Jones is most scared of? A, a lion, <laughs> B, a snake, C, a rhino, or D, a buffalo? We're going to go with snake. You're absolutely correct. Why does it always have to be snakes? All right, gentlemen. Which part of the woman's body is applied with the base coat? A, bottom, B, back, C, eyebrows, or D, nails? Which part of a woman's body is applied with a base coat? A, bottom, B, back, C, eyebrows, <laughs> or D, nails? No, that is absolutely oh. incorrect. I'm sorry. <laughs> Ladies, oh, the correct answer is actually D, nails. All right, ladies, your turn. Who became the third leading rusher in the NFL history when Emmitt Smith moved into second place? A, Jim Brown, B, Barry Sanders, C, Marcus Allen, or D, Walter Payton? B. B, Barry Sanders? You guys are absolutely correct. Woo! <laughs> All right. Gentlemen, what is the slimmest type of heel on a shoe? Is it A, a spike, B, a wedge, C, a platform or D a stiletto <laughs> is it a a spike B a wedge C a platform or D a stiletto <laughs> I'm gonna go with D, Derek. you know what D a stiletto is absolutely correct <laughs> all right ladies we have one more for you beer is a process by pro is a made by a process called fermentation Fermentation is a chemical process turning what into alcohol? A, peanuts, B, milk, C, potatoes, or D, sugar? Wait, repeat those things? Yes. You want the question or just the answers? Just the answers. The answer is A, peanuts, B, milk, C, a potato, or D, sugar? It's C, potato. C is absolutely incorrect. I'm sorry. It is sugar. sugar. All right, gentlemen. 
What is the smallest bra size? A, triple A, B, double A, C, A, D, F minus. There's an F minus, wow. She owes. C, A, that is absolutely incorrect. Uh, ladies, oh, the correct answer was A, triple A. There's a triple A service out there for somebody. Um, ladies, do we have another question for you? Tiebreaker. Tiebreaker right here. What? Or are we going to have one question, but we're going for both teams or just one? We'll go both teams. Whoever can answer this first. What is a cross between a one piece and a bikini? Tankini. That is correct. <laughs> Tankini. And the lady wins this round. <laughs> It's all good right now. We'll find out. Stay tuned after this news package for this third round, special round, where you can, where the tables can turn around, where each team is allowed to decide whether or not they want to bet points from their point bank, or there's only one question for each team. The score will, you bet, will be doubled, and you will get the right if you get be taken away if you get it wrong. Uh, nowadays, you can't really do much with it. It's not as valuable as it was in the old days, where you can buy a lot of things and still have some change left over. Sure, you can still buy some junk food here and there, and some other things, if you're lucky. What if I told you there was a website where $5 can get you all kinds of things? Welcome to Fiverr.com, the world's largest marketplace for services and goods, starting at only $5. With Fiverr, there's a plethora of things $5 can get you from custom gift cards to someone making a commercial for you. Maybe you'd like someone to draw you as a Simpsons character, make you a business card or logo, proofread your essay, advertise your website, write a song for you, or even pose as your girlfriend on Facebook. Fiverr's got it all. From tame and innocent to creepy and bizarre. You can even access Fiverr directly from your smartphone. Fiverr.com. Sign up for free today. All right, we're back for round three. The score currently is six to four in favor of the ladies. Ladies, you get to wager. How many points do you like to wager for this next question? Um, yeah, just one. One point? All right. What is the German word for butterfly? A, Benson. B, Landhardt. C, Schmetterling. D, Poltitz. What is the German word for butterfly? A. Benson. B. Landkarki. C. Schmetterling. D. Pollitz. That's point too many. We're going to go with D. D. Pollitz is absolutely incorrect, and that knocks you guys down to five points. Aww. Gentlemen, you have an opportunity to win this game right now. How many points would you like to wager? You need two to take the lead, or you can bet it all. And we have option to do it. No, then you still lose. <laughs> well, bet it all. There you go. Double down it is. Gentlemen will bet all four of their points for the win. What is the Vietnamese word for butterfly? Choi, Bandu, Can Sat, Boom Boom. Oh, what we're is dead. <laughs> the Vietnamese word for butterfly. A choi, B bandu, C kansat, D boom boom. <laughs> C bandu, ban wrong. <laughs> Ladies win, gentlemen lose all their points, and today's contestants are the winners with a score of five to zero. The ladies win. Congratulations to the ladies team. Today your <laughs> Congratulations. Tune in next time for more Quizitary. I'm Derek Cole Jenkins. <laughs>